I have gotten so many questions on how to unlock five and six star raids in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So today I'm going to tell you just how to do that and why you should do that so you can partake in these raids because they are very lucrative in, uh, in terms of post game and grinding and XP and money and all these things. So simply put, to unlock five star raids, you just have to beat the game. That does not mean you have to beat one route of the story. There are the three routes. You have to beat the game. You have to do all three of those routes and roll credits after the final, final thing. Um, that is how you unlock five-star raids appearing in your world. I do believe if you have a friend with a link code for a five-star raid, you could, in theory, join them. But because in five-star raids, Pokemon are level 75, more than likely you're not going to have a good time until after you beat the game anyway because they are pretty tough uh, without doing it with friends or without doing it with a full group of friends. You need to have your Pokemon leveled accordingly for these five-star raids. Also keep in mind though that 3 and 4 star raids will still spawn pretty commonly in your overworld. Uh, just keep looking for 5 and 6 star raids or use the, the post board on the Poke Portal. Now, for six star raids, you need to do the ace tournament. You can talk to uh, the the little counter person here at the uh, the Mesagoza Academy in Mesagoza. Um, and this is how you get the six star raids. Now, I believe what you need to do actually to get get this is well first you have to do the tournament and then they'll say oh these black these black raid crystals are appearing this is how you do six star raids you actually need to do quite a few five star raids for um for claveld or I, I believe it's claveld to to tell you basically like oh hey or no maybe it's jock either way you have to do some five star raids for a, a, like a little like text cutscene i guess to play saying hey these these black star raids are appearing or six, six star raids are appearing um and that's how you do that so just finish that tournament. It takes no time. It is post game, obviously. Um, but once you do that, you have access to five and six star raids in your world, as well as on the notice board in the Pokey Portal. If that's how you're doing most of your raids, I, that's how I do it. I just join other people. Now, the reason you would want to do these five and six star raids, well, there's numbers of reasons. Uh, a, you get really cool high level Pokemon with cool Terra types. Um, so. If you don't know what a Terra type is, I mean, I don't know how you're playing the game still, but basically, it gives a Pokemon a third typing, um, or I guess it, will, it, would, it changes its typing to one new type, basically. Um, any Pokemon you catch naturally in the Paldea region is going to have a simple typing. Like, for example, your Sprigatito has the Grass Terra type, but with Raids, you can get, for example, oh, I don't know, a Dragonite that is, that is Ice type. So it's really cool for that alone, catching these, these cool Pokemon that are high level um, is just really fun. Next thing is the rewards. You get some insane rewards for doing these five and six star raids. I'm not sure if there's a difference between five and six star. To be honest, I've seen that I've seen to be getting mostly the same rewards, maybe just more of them in six star raids. Um, but for five star raids and above, basically you can get the Urba Mysticas. These are very rare ingredients. They're pretty not super common drops within five star raids themselves. Uh, but when you use these ingredients in your sandwiches, you actually get the shiny sparkling power, uh, which increases your odds of finding a, a shiny Pokemon when you are eating the sandwich right so that's awesome but alongside that you get tons of xp candies i mean i i think i did one that i got like 10 xp candies xl like it was crazy and those level up your pokemon extremely fast if you're trying to grind out your team to level 100 xp candies are easily the best way to go and then the final main thing that you can get uh, well there's a couple things actually yeah the, the other thing is that you can get nuggets and big pearls which are great for selling you can be loaded in this game but also yeah you can get ability capsules which lets you change your ability you can get ability patches you can get bottle caps which are used for hyper training basically if you want to build a team of high level pokemon Five and six star raids are the way to go, no doubt about it. Do these raids, grind these items, and um, become become a pokey god by doing so. So, I hope this video helped you. I hope you cleared up some things. I've gotten so many questions of people asking, like, hey, how do I even do five star raids? You need to beat the game. It's a pretty simple answer, but it's an answer nonetheless. So, I hope this video was helpful, for you, helpful to you all. And um, if you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing and liking to uh, stay tuned on all my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos. Until next time, folks. Peace.